What's going on guys, Lawson here. So today, doing something a little different. What I have right here in this package is basically the cheapest fishing reel in the world. I went on to Amazon and I searched by, well I typed in fishing reels, I searched by price lowest to highest and this was the first reel that popped up. It is called a Tugu Spinning Reel SC200. It has a 5.2 to 1 gear ratio. I have it up on my computer, <laughs> I was reading what it's called. Now I really don't know what to expect at all. This thing costs $5.40. Even a little Barbie Zebco rod right here, this thing will run you about 10 bucks. So. So, we're going to see how this bad boy handles today. We're going to do a little bit of unboxing, then get on the water, see if we can catch some fish on one of the cheapest reels in the world. But we're going to get unboxing here. Well, that has me mildly concerned that there's basically a different picture on the box than the reel that I actually ordered, but we'll, uh, we'll see what's going on here. Oh, man, dude. This thing is tiny. There she is in all her glory right there. That is a Tugu SC200. Now, kind of the idea behind this video is that if you guys watch my stuff, you know I have a lot of... Oh, God. You know, if you watch my stuff, I have a lot of semi-expensive reels. You know, they're nice quality. I have a few Stratix. I have a Sustain, which they're $200, $300 reels right there. But, you know, now today we're going to put the test is... A $200 reel really that much better than a $5 reel? I'm going to be hopeful and say yes that it is, but you never know until you try. Alright, just to give you a reference right here, this reel, $5. <laughs> you could buy 60 of these for the price of one Shimano Sustain, which I have one, or <laughs> you could buy 160 of these reels for the price of one Shimano Stella 4000. <laughs> so... I don't know why I think that's so funny that you could literally buy 160 of these things for the price of one Shimano Stella. But <laughs> we're going to test it out and see really if it's worth it or if it does any good. Now, I wasn't really sure what size this is, so I'll need to go get some line. And I'm just going to pair it with one of my other rods. And I think this will fit perfect on my uh, Maglite G Loomis. So I'm going to be putting a $5 reel onto a $180 rod. That would be a great combo right there. But we're going to spool this bad boy up and see if we can get on some fish, man. Ooh, even got some anti-reverse going on there. You watch my videos. One of my anti-reverse on one of my sustains busted when I was fighting the tarpon the other day. So, maybe this thing's going to replace my Shimano sustain. I doubt it, but it just might. Uh, I don't even know what how much drag this thing has. It literally just doesn't say on the website how much drag this thing has. It doesn't say anywhere. Um... So I'm going to assume that's not a good sign that doesn't say how much drag it has. It's probably not boasting about it. But we're going to line this thing up, get it on the spinning reel, put the boat in the water, and go see if we can catch some fish, man. This should be fun. I'm very excited. This is uh, definitely going to be something different and interesting. But we're going to get at it. All right, we are finally on the water here. Got our little uh, Tugu, whatever this thing is called, our cheap reel that we're using. And we're going to start off heavy, man. We're going throwing a CUDA tube and see if we can hook a Barracuda and just get this thing started here. <laughs> the drag system on this is pretty much non-existent, to be honest. Like, that's, uh, we'll cranked out a few hundred times to the left. Okay, so basically what I'm getting is that you get no drag or you get locked down is basically uh, where we stand and that's really one of the huge differences in nicer and cheap reels is the smoothness of the drag and the amount of drag you can apply and how well the drag adjusts but we're not dealing with much today but we're going to see if we can make it happen we're throwing a very light rod we're throwing a CUDA tube and we're going to see if we can hook up with a big CUDA to start this challenge off um, I'm excited man hopefully we can get something hopefully this reel won't blow up on me within the first few minutes I seriously don't know if I'll even be able to get a Barracuda to bite with this reel because it has such a slow gear ratio. Like, my big swim bait bait caster has a faster gear ratio. This is a 5.2 to 1. And like, my big bait caster, I think, has a 6.3 to 1. This thing is just slow rolling. But we have some beautiful water here, so that's always nice. Oh, come on, one's falling, one's falling. Yes, no, he missed it, dude. Gosh, that was a sick eat, though. Dang. He missed it, though. Gosh, come on, buddy. How you gonna miss that? 
All right, no fish just yet. We're still tossing. Basically, the game plan here is I want to try to connect with a CUDA, fight a CUDA. Once we catch a CUDA, go try to catch a snook. Once we catch a snook, maybe look for a jack or a tarpon and see just like kind of run every fish that we can on this little reel here and really put it to the works today. Wait a second. What? What just happened? Oh no! <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> what the hell? Um, God, wait. Let me think about this for a second. I need that handle. My, my, uh, my handle just literally ripped off the rod and as I was trying to replace it I fumbled it and dropped it into the water so we may have a problem here so my handle literally just fell off of this rod while I was reeling and uh, I don't really know what to do so I may try to dive in the water and see if I can find it I will be honest I did not really expect that to be one of the problems I was gonna have today and now I'm stuck on something as well. This is just going fantastic. Yeah, I'll get back to you in a second. I guess I'm gonna pull this in by hand. Then I may be diving in the water here to retrieve the handle. If I can see the handle really, like I know that's it, I'll jump in. The water's really clear, so I don't think it should have gone very far, but yeah, I don't really uh, know what to do. Okay, well, I found it. <laughs> Let's see if we can fix this reel now. All right, well, we got the reel back here, but we're gonna have to make do because the handle pretty much busted off the spindle. But uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so basically this reel has exploded. The whole entire thing is falling apart. The handle will not connect back on. The pins that hold the handle in literally broke off. So now the metal bar that you know connects the handle into the drive shaft at least that's what I think it's called, it just doesn't work anymore. But, mama didn't raid no quitta. So, we're gonna keep fishing, I guess, without a handle and uh, see if we can complete this video here. And now I guess we're shooting a challenge video of sorts because uh, we're fishing without a handle. I really don't know what to expect. I guess I'm literally gonna be able to throw it the same way, but I'm gonna have to reel it in by just turning the bail manually. So I put on a DOA artificial shrimp right here just for the sake of I fish them really slow anyways and it's pretty much going to be the only thing that's going to work. So I really don't know what to say other than that that we're going to start throwing and just keep going and see if we can get this done. Alright so I'm going to apologize in advance for how many times I'm going to reach for the handle while you watch this video now because I literally have to reel it in like this. So we're just going to skip the mangrove line, skip some dock lines. I just already did it. I... I literally don't know what to do with myself here. Oh, good news, the anti-reverse still works. <laughs> to reel them fast, I guess I'm just gonna... This is like probably up there and the stupidest thing I've ever tried to do is fish without a handle. Watch, I'm gonna end up hooking like a freaking toad too. Oh yeah, that's in the spot right there. Oh, I see where I definitely need to put this. Oh, there's a fish! How do I even fight this thing? Oh, God. I don't know if he's even still on. No, he came off. Gosh. Okay. What the heck? He came undone. That was a snook, though, for sure. Gosh. We had a fish on. Now the trouble is going to be actually fighting and landing a fish. Oh, 
Oh god, big there's a fish. <laughs> I'm fighting them. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Come on. I'm just trying to stay tight on them. I don't think this is a big fish, but I think I'm just using such terribly light tackle. I hope you see how I'm having to reel this thing in right here. Ooh. Peeling drag, boys. I've never been so nervous in my whole life. Let's see if I can land them. <laughs> All right, well, we've successfully caught a fish on basically the cheapest reel in the world right there. It is a tiny, like, probably 16 inch snook 18 inch snook but that took me forever to even get them in because we're using such light tackle we don't have a reel i'm appreciative of this little fish right there what a handsome little guy just such a beautiful fish even when they're little like this i mean this one just happens to have perfect colors really nice black lateral line yellow fins well what do you know about that we actually managed to catch one right there um i mean i'll probably throw for a little bit as you can hear, there's fireworks going off. It is July 3rd right now. So, uh, happy 4th of July, even though I'm probably not going to post this <laughs> until, like, a couple days after 4th of July. What am I even saying? I think we will take our victory, and we will close out the video here. So, so as I'm editing this video, I realized my memory card filled up in the middle of me talking, and I didn't even get to capture the last of what I was saying. So, we're going to close out the video right here in my room while we're editing. You know, the little SC200, you know, it's hard to say because it broke. Is it worth $5? Yeah, it's worth about exactly $5, but that definitely doesn't mean you need to own a $300 reel or a $400 or even an $800 reel. You know, there's Shimano Stellas, which are $800 and up. There's Die with Dog Fights and Saltigas, all really high-end reels. You know, there's definitely room to find a great reel somewhere between that $5 range and that $200 range. You can find really great reels and there's a lot of experiments going on. And I can even make videos if you guys want to about, you know, making a good combo for under $100 or $150 or whatever. But you know, that video, it was definitely, it was a lot more fun than I thought it would be. And just because how stupid it ended up being, what originally was just gonna be a simple video of me using a cheap reel and kind of putting it to the test turned into some weird challenge video where I'm trying to catch fish with no reel and just smacking the crap out of the reel to bring a fish in. It just was really, really funny to me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was just super, super, <laughs> super weird and super funny. But anyways, we are closing in on 30K subs. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate the heck out of you guys. So for 30K, I'm going to do a question and answer, a Q&A. So leave questions below it can be fishing related it can be anything related it doesn't have to be fishing related it could be about fishing music video games life i don't care it can be literally about anything and if i feel fit i will answer it but that is it for today guys i really appreciate you i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like subscribe if you haven't already that is it for today you guys rock until next time